Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the forexball.com. Today we have an idea on the euro versus Great British Pound. Before we start, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is just for educational purpose only, should not be considered as a financial advice. Okay, I'm gonna go to Australian versus Japanese. Our previous idea of the um, yesterday, I think. So what we had, guys, entry around this level with the stop loss 770500 stop loss. We were speaking about safe entry on one hour break and close below this level, basically 75, which hasn't occurred. So on the safe side, trade wouldn't be triggered. But now if you decided to enter at this level at 7550, what has happened? The exit signal would be four hour break and close above uh, this double top. And we had a spike above, then another uh, spike above, but we still failed to clo close above this first spike. For now, to clear exit the trade, uh, it is better to keep the hard stop loss because it's not that far away and still expecting this move to the downside on most Australian dollar pairs, including Australian Japanese yen so this could be quite a strong pullback also you can see that bullish divergence still valid because actually price is producing higher highs and rci is still producing uh ha hasn't produced the highest uh, highest high now moving on to today's idea which is euro versus gbp what we have guys is establishment of clear uptrend we have higher highs higher low pattern here we see that there was a support. I will zoom it in so you can see more clearly. Right there was a support. So price failed to actually close below. And in fact, it rejected cleanly 200 exponential moving average, providing a great buying opportunity. So this correction down, it's a very sharp correction. I think this is another opportunity. So entry price at 0.18910 is, uh, I think, is very good. It's very attractive, so I'll just put the red line here. And in regards to the target, I have applied Fibonacci to this corrective, massive corrective up, last wave up, and the smallest last wave up. Both of these FIBs correspond to one level, approximately 9160, so it could be slightly lower. 9155 as a target seems to be uh, like a quite a valid uh, target for this potential rally in regards to the stop loss basically we will have to meet 2 to 1 risk reward ratio and it would be below this price so 8803 should be fine because it's below the spike produced on this 67.4 fips and it seems to be quite reasonable considering this potential rally that could be taking two to three days in my opinion. Also, you can see this FIB 76.4 was acting as a resistance. Resistance here, it was the support. So support rejected price started to move up. This is the medium term trend because uh, we have actually here 200 40 pips so it's up to you whether you want to take it or not but the um, opportunity seems at least interesting in my opinion but we need to also wait for the break and close below this uh, low here because it might invalidate already the idea since we will be breaking below the moving average and price might actually go down so this could be an exit signal on forward chart I would be definitely watching it, but in the stop loss, hard stop loss, 88 um, area should be perfect, just below this spike produced on this support. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the idea. We will see how it goes in the coming uh, week. And I wish you a good weekend and obviously profitable trading. Take care and see you soon.